close your eyes and pay attention to your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, you know that it's going out, all the way in, all the way out. The Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. You want to develop good qualities in the mind. You're being alert to what you're doing. You're being mindful. You keep this in mind that you want to stay with the breath each time it comes in. You don't want to wander off with the first thought that comes and invites you to go someplace else. And you're ardent. You want to do this well. Because the mind does need to be trained. An untrained mind can take good situations and turn them into bad. A trained mind knows how to find happiness even in the midst of bad situations. So for the well-being of your mind, so that it doesn't have to depend on things outside, you want to learn how to develop good qualities inside. These are your support. We go through life and we need, we need support, because otherwise the mind starts floundering around. We support it with good things. We support it with generosity, with virtue, and with meditation. When you have all three, then your support is complete. Generosity is a spaciousness of mind. You see that you have something that other people could use, we're happy to give it. This counteracts a selfish attitude that can think only of itself, and that gets very, very narrow. With virtue, you abstain from doing things that would harm other people. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking intoxicants. If you can hold by these principles, you make the world around you a much better place, a much safer place for you and for the people around you. That too is a support. But in particular the mind, because the mind is the foundation of everything you do and say. So you make sure your mind is in good shape and that it's under your control. That's why we have exercises like this. Just stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to make it comfortable so that it's a good place to stay. It feels good for the body. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Try to see what rhythm and texture of breathing feels good for you right now. This is something you can take advantage of, is this potential inside the body to give you a good place to stay. When the mind is in a good position like this, then it's a lot easier to notice what's skillful and what's not skillful, and also avoid doing unskillful things. Because there are times when we know that something is unskillful, but we feel weak, exhausted, or just irritated inside. And the mind doesn't think that it's going to be worthwhile to make the effort to do something skillfully. So by creating a sense of well-being inside, simply by the way you breathe, that supports your other actions. So you can be skillful too. And this way your goodness is complete and it's well supported. You just got the mind as your, as your solid support, and the mind itself is well positioned in a, with the breath. Think of the breath as a whole body process. You can inhabit your whole body with a sense of ease. When you're at ease here in the present moment, then as I said, it's easier to see what's right and what's wrong, and to have the energy to do what's right, even when it's hard, and to abandon what's wrong, even when it's hard to abandon it. As the Buddha pointed out, there are four kinds of actions in the world. Things that are easier to do, that you like doing, and they give good results. Things that are hard to do, you don't like doing them, and they give bad results. Those are no-brainers. The things that are you like to do and give good results, you do them easily. The things that you don't like to do and give bad results, you stay away from them. The hard ones are the things that you like to do but give bad results, or that you don't like to do but give good results. This is where you have to learn how to talk to yourself, to see that the long-term consequences of your actions really do exist and they really are important. In fact, that's the beginning of wisdom. Asking that question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? What when I do it will lead to my long-term harm and suffering? Keeping those questions in mind and looking at the options that you have as you go through the day, you begin to get a better and better sense of how to shape your life in the direction you want it to go. So make sure your actions are supported by good intentions 
by wise questions inside, and that the mind is supported by a good breath. This way your, your virtue is solid, the goodness of your life is solid. Even when there are earthquakes, you're not shaken. In other words, there are bad things can happen in the world outside, but you're not shaken by them. And you have good things to share with the people around you. This is a practice that's good all around.